Hi, my name is Sebastian van der Schrier and I'm an ex-social anxiety disorder sufferer. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to use EFT tapping in the moment and how to use it to step by step in an easy way, reduce your levels of anxiety, reduce your levels of stress and increase your levels of happiness. Okay, it's gonna be really easy. Okay, so EFT, really quick, if you don't know what it is, check out this video. But basically, it's an effective, scientifically proven to be effective, emotional release technique that involves stimulating certain acupressure points on the body while focusing on a negative uh, memory or a thought or a belief or a bodily sensation. And as you do the tapping, what happens is it sends a signal to the part of your brain called the amygdala and studies have shown that it reduces the production of cortisol and it increases your serotonin level levels and these uh, biochemical reactions create a sense of calm looks really bizarre it's really weird but it's amazing and it can really change your life when you start applying it so give it a go you know um, you can learn the basics online for free you can find it on my website as well socialanxietysolutions.com so <clears throat> I'm going to assume at this point that you've already that you already know the basics of the tapping. So you know that there are certain tapping points. You tap on the top of your head, beginning of the eyebrows, side of your eyes, and so on. But there are also tapping points on your fingers. So because this tapping looks so bizarre, most people won't feel comfortable doing this in a public setting. So what you can then do is you can finger tap. So there are certain points on your body, uh, on your hands rather, let me see if I can get that close to the camera. So it's on the base of the nail, there's a point. These points are ju just as effective or almost as effective as these points. And you tap there, the base of your finger, and then, uh, sorry, <laughs> base of your thumb. And then at the base of your, God, I should cut my nails, uh, base of your index finger and it's all at the nail bed you just tap there and you just continue tapping there and do it like that well that's still a bit awkward because you're doing this right but you can just go with one hand fold your thumb and then drop your finger over and then you're tapping on the outside of the thumb see and then you can turn your hand around and you can do it like that you just go down the ladder so to speak and once you're down, you can go back up. You can do this with two hands at the same time. Doesn't really matter that much. And this is something that you can take with you. It's portable. You can take this along with you into a social situation. So, you know, if you're doing this in a social situation, it might be a bit weird, but you can hide it behind your back. Uh, I can't really show it on this video, but you can just hide it behind your back. You can put it in your pocket. Or you, I can, you know, I could do it like this. People don't necessarily have to see it. Now, when you're doing this tapping, while you're in a social situation, it will likely calm down the anxiety a little bit. Here's another little tip. When you're in a social situation, or when you notice yourself being anxious, and you start doing this tapping, and you don't notice that the anxiety is decreasing, just think in your mind, I don't want to let go of this anxiety. It's not safe to let go of this anxiety. I refuse to let go of the, uh, the anxiety. Just think those three thoughts as you do the tapping for maybe a minute or so. And after that minute, focus back in on the symptoms, uh, the racing heart, you know, the lump in your throat, whatever it is, and continue doing the tapping. That's a way that w you can calm down your anxiety quite a bit. Okay, That's the first thing. Secondly, this tapping that you do... Um, you, you typically do it on something that you focus on. Okay, so um, uh, last year there was the, the big, uh, um, big storm here in the, Philippi in the Philippines, Super Typhoon High, on the biggest storm that ever you know, happened. And we went there and we helped them overcome their traumas. And <clears throat> we actually taught them this simple tapping technique. And as we taught it to them, 
you know, we told them, okay, so there's this memory of the storm. When you think about it, how do you feel? They would feel upset. They would do the tapping and it would go down. And then they would remember the sound of the wind. Well, it was a howling wind of more than 300 kilometers an hour that blew the roofs of houses with pop windows. And when they would think of it, they would feel highly afraid. They would do the tapping, tap, 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 and all the fear was gone. Then they would remember, because um, there was a... A storm surge so they would remember that the, the the water would flush through into their house so you like imagine a massive wave going through your whole village and only living in a little small village and then having to grab your kids to run to the second floor to try to stay afloat and it went from the bottom to the second floor in only in only 30 seconds 30 to 60 seconds so when they would think of that boom their intensity would go up so we would have them focus on one thing after the other and be super specific and address the tapping. So that's one way that you can do the tapping. Another way is um, volume. So um, Dr. David Lake, psychotherapist, and Steve Wells, a psychologist from Australia who were there with me, they taught me that when you get enough of the tapping into your system, it actually uh, over time, an hour a day for two to three weeks, it decreases your, your stress level. So most people have a stress level that is this high and they have a happiness level that is this high. Especially if you're dealing with social anxiety, that's the case, you know, speaking from experience. And what you do, what, what starts happening, as you start doing that tapping for an hour a day, is your stress level starts to decrease after about a week, after about two weeks, and eventually you get to this point where you're not as reactive anymore. You're not as anxious anymore. Your general anxiety starts to decrease and your happiness level starts to creep above it. It's really amazing. And it's so super simple because you do not have to focus on something specific. So this is what we told the survivors of Yolanda because we worked with them in groups and we couldn't address all of their trauma specifically. So some of them, we helped them release you know, part of their trauma. And what we said, we, we taught them the finger tapping and we said, okay, when you watch TV in the evening or when you, you know, I don't think they have much TV left anymore, but when, when you're hanging out and you're, you're mingling with your friends or whatever you're doing, brushing your teeth, you know, start doing the tapping and get an hour of tapping in. Now it might sound like a lot, but you don't have to start doing this. And this is a super simple thing that you can learn and it can become a habit. And when you make this a habit, it's, it's one of my habits, and you link it to certain things. So every time you walk up the stairs, you do it. Every time you go for a walk, you do it. Every time you watch a YouTube video or every time you watch your favorite show on TV, if you just add this to it, you easily get that into your daily routine and you'll notice the benefits in a couple of weeks. Okay, so do it and you'll, you'll notice the results. So I hope that's been helpful. Two super simple tips that are gonna get you the results when you actually put in the work. So I hope this has been helpful. Something really cool is happening. My uh, podcast is about to launch and um, I'm interviewing people from the Western psychology world who who are also interested in the energy psychology and experts in it. So the leading experts, the, the thought leaders. And I've recorded seven or eight interviews as of yet. And I'm going to go live with three of them, three of them at once. And it's going to be really fantastic. And I think you'll really like it. So that's it for this week. And if you enjoyed this, subscribe here. And I'll talk to you next Thursday. Bye for now.